Greetings, everybody. Del Puckett here, standing next to the green wall with another concept video. Okay, so this is a very interesting concept in that um, you have to think of the guitar in a completely brand new way. In other words, so everything that you know, um, that you've learned about three string cigar box guitar, we're going to forget everything. And we're going to start over from scratch. This is Pythagorean tuning. So I'm tuned in fifths. E. B, F sharp. It's a very, very interesting tuning. So, so what we have to do is reset our mind to think in terms of fifths, okay? So starting on the low string, the fifth would be here at the seventh fret, okay? And that's for all, all the strings here, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this fifth into two halves. And I can do this either the minor half on the here on the bottom and then the major half on the top, or the major half on the bottom and the minor half on the top. What I'm gonna do for one string, I'm gonna do for all of them. So here's an example. Uh, low string ring and open. It's just a concept. All I'm doing is I'm playing only these notes and only these notes and then open. So I'm alternating between minor thirds then major thirds. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that pattern, but I'm on, a, on this side, since this is a major third, I'm going to do a minor third up here. So this way it would sound. Okay, so I have a minor third down here on the bottom. Major third here, minor third, and you guessed it, a major third. It's a very, very, it's a different way of thinking about, right? Um, it's actually easier because all you have to do is just think of these little Tetris little blocks that you're going to put together, right? Uh, this little block here, and then this little block here, this little block there, and then this little block there. Uh, and then you kind of just use this bottom note as your root. And then whenever you, you do all of them, they're all going to sound open because all of the notes are related through what they call the circle of fifths. And, you know, without getting in too much, you know, theater, theater what do you call it, a theoretical um, discussion about the circle of fifths, this is just an easy way to exploit all those cool sounds, right? We're just committing to the fifths and we're just dividing it, subdividing it into minor third intervals and major thirds and we just connect them together. Okay, so that was an example when I started off with the minor third. Now I'm going to start off with the major third on the bottom and here, you're going to see how it's a completely different sound but yet just as cool. Okay, here, 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 here's the example. So if I did a, a minor here, then I'll do the major on the top. And then back up to the minor. So you can get all crazy. You can make all sorts of weird sounds. And then you can also just play normal chords too. I mean, there's nothing to prevent you from just being all normal, right? So you have the, a lot of op options with this weird um, fifths tuning, Pythagorean tuning, that open up kind of uh, new, um, what do you call it, uh, musical ideas. Um, and sounds that you can play with and have fun with. So, I hope you enjoy this concept. Again, Pythagorean tuning, Pythagorean tuning, which is just tuning in fifths. Um, e, B, F sharp, and then dividing in 
the, on the fifth and then subdividing into either major and minor or minor and major. And then just whoop, going everywhere with that. And it helps if you have like a nice reverb pedal or a delay pedal because then those notes will just capture longer and you're going to sound awesome. I guarantee it. All right, here's like a walking bass line using the Pythagorean fifth tuning. My root is up here on the seventh fret. And the uh, high strings I'm letting ring open. Have lots of fun with that and then you can just do chords like So it's got a real airy, real open, unresolved soaring sound. Love that sound. 